ओके बेटा आफ्टर मेकिंग अ कैश बुक सेल्स परचेज रिटर्न इनवर्ड एंड रिटर्न आउटवर्ड जर्नल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर द जर्नल द जर्नल इज बेसिकली आल्सो नोन एज अ जनरल जर्नल एंड समटाइम्स द एग्जामिनर रेफर टू जर्नल अलोन ओके सो अ जर्नल और द जर्नल और जनरल जर्नल इज अ बुक ऑफ प्राइम एंट्री बुक ऑफ ओरिजिनल एंट्री being meant for non routine transactions okay any transactions beta that does not belong to uh, five of the other books would come in a general journal or the journal okay any transaction that is non routine in nature uh, would go to a the journal or general journal now i have already uh, crossed the transaction that we have already used it now we can easily find the transactions that are going in a general journal okay beta whenever we bought goods we used to write uh, in a purchase journal if the goods were bought on credit and if instead if we have paid the for the goods immediately we are going to write the purchase of goods in a cash book but uh, in this case on 3rd january as you can see we have bought a property property is not our good property is bought for use rather than for resale unless and until we have a real estate business then in that case property would be our inventory property would be our goods but that's not normally the case we have bought a property for 80000 from peter and we haven't paid peter yet instead we have promised him uh, that we'll be paying him uh, within 8 months okay so the property is an asset we are going to make a general entry in a general journal like this we are going to debit the property account why because property is an asset and asset always increases by way of debit and we are going to credit the person's account home which we have bought property from and that is peter in this case okay so this is a general uh, entry gen, uh, which being made in a general journal now sometimes the examiner also ask us to make a a uh, narrative to write a narrative now what is a narrative my dear students narrative is basically an explanation of the transaction that we have just did we just need to write in a uh, simple words that what does this transaction uh, meant okay so first of all to start a narrative we can start with to record to record what we have purchased a property from whom from peter and we have bought it on credit okay so this is basically a narrative uh we will we'll be uh, writing narrative only and only when the examiner clearly asks for it and when examiner do ask for it examiner usually award one mark for a general uh narrative okay so if the examiner says a narrative is required so we are going to write this narrative okay now is there any other transaction that is non routine and that has not been recorded in a cash book and four of the other books of original entry now as you can see in the last on 25th of december we have withdrawn goods costing 2500 withdrawn means it is a drawing drawing means uh, taking out anything from the business for personal use or maybe for home use it is a drawing so if instead if we had drawn cash or check from the bank the entry would be drawing would be debited and cash and bank would be credited but in this case as you can see we have not taken out cash or bank uh, instead we have withdrawn goods from the business maybe we have a mobile phone shop gadget shop and we have taken out iphone 14 for our own use uh, so the entry would be drawing would be debited and instead of crediting cash or bank account we are going to credit a purchase account okay we never make a uh, inventory or drawing a uh, inventory or goods account instead we are going to make a purchase account so the entry would be drawing would be debited and the purchase account would be credited and if instead we have credited cash or bank so we won't be writing it in a journal instead we'll be writing this transaction in a cash book okay if it's belong to cash or check drawing so again we can write a narrative if the examiner ask for it so we can write to record goods withdrawn for own use we have withdrawn goods for own use so this was the example of a general journal uh, any transaction that are non routine in nature may be uh, buying a, a non current asset or selling a non current asset on credit or maybe a uh, Uh, drawing uh, of goods or maybe drawing of any non current asset maybe we took office computer for our home use maybe for our child's assignment or what so this means it is a drawing of 
non-current asset and if we are go not going to return it back so therefore it's a drawing transaction or maybe there are some errors in our accounts and we need to make general entries for the errors these are also recorded in a general journal 